All right, everybody, welcome back. Good afternoon. We've got a couple more quarterbacks to take a look at here real quick, and then we're going to be done with the position for good. So we've really gotten into territory now where these guys will be very lucky to get drafted. If I had to guess, I'd say they won't, but they will probably find a team for at least a little bit. And this first guy is the guy I actually like of this group. Of these guys at the very bottom, this guy's actually my favorite. And if we were to try to take a flyer on a late, late round quarterback that isn't Joe Milton, maybe Joe Milton goes a little earlier than that, this would be my guy right here. It's Carter Bradley of South Alabama. Definitely a small school guy, but he's got some attributes that I actually like that I feel like can translate to the NFL. Uh, 24 years old when the season starts, 6'2", 211 pounds, 31 and three quarters inch arms, nine and three quarters inch hands. Ran a 4940, so uh, that's a little bit alarming when you look at the um, the way that he uses his athletic ability in college. But um, I think you guys will understand what I'm seeing with him in a couple minutes here when I get into his arm. That, to me, ultimately is what makes him intriguing. PFF and ESPN have him in the seventh. CBS has him undrafted. Mock draft database, or excuse me, NFL mock draft database has him undrafted by about 40 picks or so, a little bit less. Um, been fairly productive the last two years, completed about 66% of his passes um, through just uh, 47 touchdowns against 19 picks, about 6,000 passing yards. So relatively productive, not anything over the top crazy, but pretty good. So Carter Bradley, when you look at him as a prospect, he's got some ability to use his legs. Again, is that going to translate to the NFL with 4.9 speed? Probably not. But sometimes you just have a bad 40 time. Sometimes you just have a bad day. Uh, he, by the way, did not run at the combine. He ran at his pro day. Um, so I look at Carter Bradley and I go, okay, um, you don't have great long speed. Do you have great short speed? Do you have the ability to bolt away from a defender in a short distance, <clears throat> like Mahomes does. That's what I would wonder about that. He moves around in the pocket well. He's got good pocket presence. I think he's got an NFL caliber arm. He can make a lot of different throws. He can get the ball out with zip. He can push the ball down the field fairly well. Uh, there, there are things that I like here. He can zip it into a tight window. And he, it, it feels like he has the arm of a better prospect than you would expect from a guy at South Alabama. When he's on script, he's accurate, and he's able to maintain a good amount of accuracy when he's off script. Every quarterback suffers from their, suffers accuracy issues when they go off script, but he maintains the ability to make a play on the move, and he's good pre-snap. So he brings positive things to the table that I'm looking for in a quarterback. Now, he needs to learn how to layer his throws and feather his passes in. Right now, he kind of just throws the fastball. Uh, it's great that he has the NFL caliber arm, but there's a time and a place for every kind of throw. He does have a few too many bad decisions that lead to, uh, turnovers. And his deep ball does tend to hang in the air. Like it, it's, um, like I said, it's not a great arm. His deep ball hangs up there and gives the defender a chance to catch back up to it and, uh, swat it down or make a play on it. So that is something that he's going to have to work on at the NFL level because, you know, there, there's a lot that he has to overcome to make it at the end of the day, right? He's a small school guy. He's got some issues with his potential athletic ability not crossing over. Need to be able to get that deep ball in there because he does have the arm for it. This is kind of what I'm looking for if you're going super deep here. Assuming Milton doesn't make it past the fifth round, this is my favorite super sleeper. So Carter Bradley... I think is mostly fixable. It's not going to be easy. It's I'm not going to say it's likely to work, but Carter Bradley to me is the late round QB prospect that you would want to go after. I would not mind taking him in the sixth round. I like him enough to take him in the sixth and not feel concerned about it. So pretty good. That That's um, about the best super sleeper I have at the position right now. Final guy we're going to evaluate this year is Devin Leary of Kentucky. And this guy has been part of the conversation in the draft for a couple years now. He thought about coming out last year and didn't. Uh, had a bad injury in 2022 that robbed him of most of his season, I think. So it made sense that he wanted to come back. And he played okay for Kentucky. 
24 years old when the season starts, 6'1", 215 pounds, 30 and 7 8 inch arms, 9 and a half inch hands. ESPN is the only big board I found that thinks he's draftable. They actually like him enough to put him in the fifth round, late fifth. CBS, PFF, and the database have him going undrafted. Although it should be noted that the database has him going undrafted by like less than 15 picks. So it's very small margin. Um, 2023, he played okay. 2,700 yards, 56% completion, 25 touchdowns, 12 picks. It was 2021 when he played great. And 2021, he looked like he was actually going to be something. And these numbers would have definitely put him in the draftable territory if he put them up this year. 3,400 yards, 66% completion, 35 touchdowns, 5 picks. That's way better than what he did in 2023. And obviously, the circumstances changed, the situation changed, the team changed, but it was a big downgrade when he really needed to have a monster season because 2022 had been cut short for him. I think he played like half the year. So Leary, team captain for both teams that he played for. He throws accurately when on the move. Um, maintains his accuracy, I should say. Everybody loses accuracy when they're throwing on the run. He layers his throws pretty well when he needs to throw a softball or a light ball or a, a fastball. He can, he can do those things. He's got good zip on the ball as well. He actually does seem to have at least somewhat of an NFL arm. I'm not going to say it's a great arm. It's not, but it's a pretty good arm for one of these small school guys. But it doesn't seem like the 2021 Devin Leary is ever going to come back. I imagine we would have seen something a little bit better in 2023 if it did. Now, granted, maybe he was recovering, but it's such a drastic drop down that it, it's hard for me to be able to justify it any normal way. He loses a ton of accuracy on his longer throws, like when you ask him to throw to the sideline or push it down the field. No accuracy whatsoever. So while he does have good zip on the ball, it's mostly a, I can throw the ball short quickly to a receiver. I'm not going to be able to translate that zip on the ball to chucking it deep down the field and having a receiver run underneath it 50 yards away. He's got an awkward and kind of long release. I don't really like his release. It looks weird. Uh, mostly he relies on pre-snap reads. It seems like he's somebody who makes a read pre-snap, gets the ball, looks, throws, and that's it. He doesn't really process post-snap, which would be an important skill for somebody like this to make it. So the 2021 thing lingers because he played well that year. I do think his arm is passable on an NFL scale. But there's a lot of stuff that he's got to prove. There's a lot of stuff to prove here. And the inability to push the ball down the field accurately is going to undo the appeal of having that nice arm. So I'd say seventh round, he's a little bit better than a guy like Hartman, a little bit better than a guy like uh, Reed, but unlikely to pan out as anything other than just like a camp body in July and August. All right, that's it for quarterbacks this year. Uh, the only other guy that I guess I could have discussed briefly would have been Plummer from Cal, and I don't really see much there that's appealing to me. I looked at him a little bit. So we're going to go ahead and skip Plummer for now unless the Seahawks like meet with him or something. I don't think he's going to get drafted. But uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you think of these two. Let me know what you think of any of these quarterbacks, man. Um, it's a good class. It's obviously top-heavy, but there's uh, some appealing stuff here for sure. And if the Seahawks decide to use this draft to find their QB of the future... I couldn't blame them. All right. See you guys later. Go Hawks. Maybe another video later today, but if not, we'll be moving on to a new position tomorrow.